They take you whenever you want to go. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 time machines from pop culture. Ohayo gozaimasu. Whoa. Just to be clear, for this list, we're including our favorite time machines from film, television, and video games. <gasps> Number 10, Homer's Time Travel Toaster, The Simpsons Halloween Treehouse of Horror 5. <gasps> Dad, it's in there again! Ah, no! ah! Kicking off our list is the most unlikely gizmo to transport anyone through time, let alone Homer Simpson. I'm the first non-Brazilian person to travel backwards through time. Correction, Homer, you're the second. In this seasonal horror episode short, Time and Punishment, Homer attempts to fix his broken toaster. This shouldn't be too hard to fix with the right tools. These modifications somehow turn his toaster into a time machine that sends him to prehistoric times repeatedly. <laughs> mustn't crush, mustn't do, made it! <laughs> oh, I wish, I wish I hadn't killed that fish. Inspired by Ray Bradbury's A Sound of Thunder, each trip to the past wrecks terrible and often hilarious consequences on the future. Marge, dear, would you kindly pass me a donut? Donut? What's a donut? <laughs> Number nine, Hot Tub, the Hot Tub Time Machine. It must be some kind of hot tub time machine. Equally ridiculous and just as awesome is this hot tub capable of not only sending travelers into the past, but also reverting them back to their younger selves when it does so. You look like kid play. It's actually two people. This one is fueled by the illegal energy drink called Chernobyl. Created by Chevy Chase's mysterious repairman, mind-bending hallucinations are par for the course with every trip. Jerry Curl, where's the beef? Excuse me, miss. What color is Michael Jackson? Black. <laughs> Number eight, the box primer. You're talking about making a bigger one. You're talking about making a bigger one. Now to another modern day time machine, this one from a cult indie film. This box was created by a group of friends in their garage with household parts, and certainly looks that way. They took from their surroundings what was needed and made of it something more. Made to reduce the weight of an object, it instead manipulates the amount of time the object inside experiences, making objects, including people, travel back and forth through time. Hey, we're blocking whatever keeps them moving forward, and so they flip-flop. Inside the box, it's like a street, and both ends are cul-de-sacs. I mean, this isn't frame dragging or wormhole magic. This is basic mechanics in Heat 101. Number seven, the time tunnel, time tunnel. Two American scientists are lost in the swirling maze of past and future ages during the first experiments on America's greatest and most secret project, the time tunnel. You may have seen this one on reruns at your grandparents' house. A classic 60s time machine, it was the product of the aptly named top secret project TikTok. We're time travelers. We started 10 years ago. It was top secret then, but now they're insane. We're not. Obviously, its name comes from its appearance, which is a round hallway into the past and future. What do you mean, the future? It's our future, but it's your present, only we're part of it now. Wisely, this one is housed in a hidden underground base away from public eyes. The H-bomb is nothing but a toy balloon compared to the forces we're loosening here. Ray, aren't you forgetting something? No, Ann. I'm only trying to measure their lives against others we're endangering. Number six, phone booth. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Oh, Taking a page out of a certain British sci-fi series, this American phone booth became the MacGuffin of this Keanu Reeves comedy. Gentlemen, we're history. A device piloted by George Carlin as a visitor from the utopian future, the year 2688, it's used to help the air guitar wielding duo finish a history report. I know. That's why I was sent to make sure you passed your history report. If you guys were separated, it would have been disastrous for life as we know it. The phone booth is unique for being so simple to operate that even these guys could use it. Because in San Dimas it is tomorrow, William. You have to dial one number higher. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Rufus. Number five. Ocarina, The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. Video games have also had their share of time travel gadgets. Chief among them is this potato-shaped instrument. Passed down for generations by the royal family of Hyrule, this treasured heirloom can open the door of time.
it can also change the time of day, making it useful and pleasant on the ears. Number four, Time Displacement Sphere, Terminator Trilogy. Okay, it's true that we never actually see the Skynet device that sent Kyle Reese and several Terminators back in time. Then you're from the future too, is that right? Right. Right. However, we see enough from the Time Sphere to know that we dig it. Their gimmick is that they are unable to send any inanimate objects back in time, like clothing or weapons, which is why the Terminators have to get sent back in tightly wrapped human skin packages. You're like a machine underneath, right? But sort of alive outside? I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. Oh, and it's always one way. Well, how are you supposed to get back? I can't. Nobody goes home. Nobody else comes through. It's just him and me. Number three, Time Sled, The Time Machine. My question is why can't one change the past? Because one cannot travel into the past. If literature has anything to say about time travel, it's best summed up by H.G. Wells' literary classic. Tell me about the time machine. Time Machine was written by H.G. Wells in 1894. It was later adapted to a motion picture by George Powell and a stage musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber, which no, ran that, on Broadway for I mean. years. Would you like to hear selections from the score? Don't let that retro steampunk charm fool you. It's traveled 30 million years into the future. But that makes a hell of a cappuccino. Since the novel's release in 1895, there have been a few films to feature the vintage time apparatus. From the open one-person cockpit to the spinning disc and lever, it's the ultimate original. To carry a man, a larger edition is needed. To carry a man? Where? Into the past or into the future? This is a time machine. Number two, the DeLorean Back to the Future trilogy. Doc said it best. The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Sending Marty on his misadventures through time, this sucker requires 1.21 gigawatts of juice and must hit 88 miles per hour to activate. Hey Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. It's impossible for anyone to think of a time machine and not equate it with this gull-winged stainless steel beauty retrofitted with a flux capacitor that leaves trails of fire in its wake. 88 miles per hour! With so many interesting and iconic time machines to pick from, we had to draw the line somewhere. So here are a few of our honorable mentions. Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. Number one, the TARDIS, Doctor Who series. You know what they say, it's the first time for everything. Taking the top spot on our list is the only time machine said to have traveled over a hundred trillion years, from before the Big Bang to the edge of time itself. You just saved the whole of space and time? Take the evening off, maybe a bit of tomorrow. A spaceship time machine constructed by the Time Lords, it uses its chameleon circuits to alter its exterior appearance. Of course, with those fried, it remains in the iconic and budget-friendly form of a blue police box. You're from the future. Hardly seems possible, but I was wondering... She warn you, I don't answer a lot of questions. Agree with our list? No! What's your favorite time machine from pop culture? For more inventive top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'll be back. Ooh.